What's up all my Ewok Shibbles droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little EFAP of John Campia's meltdown to people's reactions to the casting of Astrid in the live action How to Train Your Dragon movie. For those that don't know, John Campia is like an internet personality, he does stuff on YouTube and whatnot, and he had a huge meltdown and was screaming at his subscribers. He wants 30,000 people to unsubscribe to his channel over this. Now, this is what Astrid looks like, just for context, if you've never seen How to Train Your Dragon. So How to Train Your Dragon takes place uh, in like a, a Viking clan in their little Viking village. Now, if you guys know, because you guys are all, everyone that's subscribed to my channel is intelligent, and you guys are aware of history, and you guys are also aware of geography and the way that certain people look from certain parts of the globe. Globe and how, you know, Astrid uh, has a certain look because, oh, yeah, that's right. She's a Viking, right? She's from, like, a Nordic country, like Denmark, uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, like, those countries that are all, you know, famous for their Vikings. Uh, and all the people there have a certain type of look. Uh, they're also very pale because of, you know, where they are on the planet Earth. And uh, taking that in mind, this is the base character, blonde hair, blue-eyed, pale skin. Uh, this is the girl that they cast to play Astrid. And look at the difference between how they cast Hiccup, the main character, uh, and how, you know, close they got to getting a, an actor that looked like the animated version and how just the exact opposite they went for the casting of Astrid. So people had some things to say, and I don't think that it was unreasonable. And honestly, I, it, it kind of drives me crazy how there's the constant moving of the goalposts where it's like, okay, well, imagine if they did a movie like Black Panther, right? And his sister, instead of her being cast... Uh, you know, a, a certain race. What if they, you know, switched it and, and did a race swap on her? I think people would be pretty upset about that, but it's like rules for thee, but not for me kind of thing. And I think that's what people are pointing out. So I have this, this is actually like a clip. Uh, I It's down linked below in the description of this video if you guys want to go watch it for yourself. So this is called Woke Elderly Man <laughs> Has a Mental Breakdown Over How to Train Your Dragon. So this right here is John Campia. So we're going to watch it. Let me check my audio first. Hey, and it has audio is good. Let's watch this. John here on a beautiful night in Southern California. You know, I was going through some of the comments. Okay, let's read the comment. Yep, she's definitely looking like a Viking. There you go. Uh, they definitely look Scandinavian during Viking times. Yay, let's, oh yeah, let's keep, uh, you know, race swapping European history and culture. Oh boy, DreamWorks is taking a piece out from the Disney playbook. Those are the comments, guys. Those are the comments that led him to have this meltdown. Let's continue. On some of the videos today, you know, one of the stories that came out today was they got their lead cast for the How to Train Your Dragon live action remake and i thought it was a terrific look they went and got the girl uh nico parker i think is her name from uh last of us who uh, there were a bunch of comments <laughs> on the hood niggas in it whoa and people complaining that this how to train your dragon thing is already ruined because they changed astrid because they changed astrid and because they changed Astrid, that means <laughs> this thing was a complete disaster. It was ruined. It was destined to fail because they changed Astrid. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was interesting. Mm. But oh my God. What? If you get a girl who the pigmentation of her skin tone is a little bit different than Astrid's is, if the pigmentation of her skin is a little bit darker than what Astrid's is in the cartoon, height, not a problem. Eye color, not a problem. Hand, not a problem. Oh. Hey, I, w I like to point out, I, I point out her eye color. No. I mean, here's the thing, dude. They can, like, digitally fix that. They can make her wear contacts. Henry Cavill, oh, Henry, he wore contacts in The Witcher. He wore contacts in The Freaking Witcher, man. So, con you g g gotta think. Like, he he's about to have a meltdown. Let me, let me, let me just let him continue tone of her skin mm. that's a problem ah. this movie's doomed 
Yeah. Please get the fuck off my channel. Whoa, oh my goodness. You mouth breathing, <gasps> basement dwelling, cousin cousin humper, humping hey. motherfuckers. Just get off my channel. What? Don't come to my channel. I am on a personal mission. I want to purge 30,000 of my subscribers 30, off my channel by the within the next 48 hours. Oh my goodness. And, and I would Did like them it? to be you because it. with the number of comments of people saying such idiotic moronic things. Oh my god. Look at a mirror. I figure there's got to be at least 30,000 of you knuckle draggers around there. Oh god. In other news, the Prime <laughs> Minister of Sweden. Oh, you guys can't see on my screen. 7,000 views and uh, 239 comments. So apparently 30,000. 30,000, guys. Uh, oh, 7,000 views. That's like, he has over 100,000 more subscribers than me, and he gets like the views that I do. And I'm shadow banned. The only re time people see my videos is when I tweet about it. Uh, <laughs> that's the only way. Uh, people see my videos because YouTube doesn't do shit. YouTube is like, silence Anna. Make all of her content 18 years or older. And it's like, ah, fighting against that. He, I don't think, is shadow banned. Bruh. Bruh. This Melty. Oh, my gosh. And we're not even done. We're not even done. Take in mind, this is an edited, shorter version of the actual Meltdown. The Meltdown's like 15 minutes long. It's hilarious. But uh, this, this one, I think, captures everything. So let's continue. Visited Washington today, and my tiny little nipples <laughs> went to France. So please just leave my channel. Don't come back. Don't watch my stuff. Uh, I, I want to purge 30,000 things. Do me a favor. You racist pieces of shit. And go and find one of your echo chamber websites where you can all stand around and jerk each other off while you tilt your head back and go, woke, woke. And then you can come on each other's faces and tell each other that come on your face cleanses you of wokeness. Hey. I heard someone in an Asian country Whoa. says that it's good for my skin. Is that a thing they come do in Japan? Come on your face. They put come cum on, on your face, face and it makes it... Come <laughs> on Oh my your god. Face. Dude, dude, don't do that. Whoa. You're not a girl. It, it looks Whoa. pretty gay. Oh my god. Oh, this cleanses music's gonna you of wokeness. Me, even though I'm trying yeah, to tell yourselves that. Whatever oh, no. is gonna get you off and make you feel good about yourself. Bro, uh, I think this you video really got need to you go off, find an man. echo chamber this is where you and your illiterate brood can just gather around and, and just, like I said, Bro, do you don't even know history. Uh, yeah, that's all my thoughts you for tonight. Thanks for joining me, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. And oh. I'm so good for this. Come on your face. Oh my god. What cleanses you of wokeness? All right, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, that song is totally going to get me flagged. But guys, uh, support the channel, become a member, hit the super thanks, follow me on Locals, Back by Calendar, all that stuff, because uh, YouTube does not like it when you use copyrighted music. Whoever made that little clip. It was great, but don't do that next time. I want to react to it. People want to react to it on YouTube. But anyways, to the point John Camby was making, bruh, bruh, really Really, you're having a melty because people are pointing out the fact that uh, only a certain demographic gets respect and uh, the other ones don't. Kind of crazy how that works, man. It's like, oh, if, if they did a race swap in Black Panther, right? They race swapped one of the characters in Black Panther. Uh, every, you know, Twitter would be blowing up. Everyone would be screaming. They would be boycotting the studios. All that jazz. You, John Campy, would be having a fucking meltdown just like you did here, losing your minds. But it's okay when it's a Scandinavian character, right? Because they're from a certain part of the world that it's okay to, you know, disrespect them in their culture, right? It'll get the same treatment that the Little Mermaid did and then that Cleopatra did. It's like when all of a sudden then accuracy goes out the window. Also, I just need to point out to everyone, this is paint. This isn't blood. I, I paint. I'm, a, I'm an artist. And when you get like colors that stain like lizard and crimson, it's almost impossible to get off. So that, that's what's on my hands. But to the point I was making. So I'm actually Danish. In case you didn't know, I'm mostly Portuguese, but I am part Danish. My great grandmother, my grandmother's mother came over from Denmark to America to have her family. And guess what? Vikings. Oh, you want to go look up uh, Danish history? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of Vikings. We also have a little character. Oh, the Little Mermaid that was written by Hans Christian Andersen. And uh, not only that, it's Pride Month. Hans Christian Andersen was gay. So you're changing a character that a gay man created and intended to be uh, a certain way. Funny how that goes, right? And if you guys don't believe me about him being gay, he's got a whole entire little fairy tale about his gay lover who was ballerina. Yeah, so Go, go, go do some research before people start, you know, screaming at me like John Campia. Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, Ariel, guess what? They changed her. Oh, Astrid. 
and not respecting, you know, the cultural background, heritage, ethnicity. Uh, for whatever reason, they got everyone else in the cast right. But her, no, nope, we got to change her again. Would they be OK if, it, if they did that in Black Panther? I'm going to tell you right now. Absolutely not. I deal with these people every single day. It's rules for thee, but not for me. That That's the mentality that they have. And then they have people like John Cambio who goes and has a freaking meltdown uh, because people just pointed that fact out. It's like, oh, a Scandinavian blonde hair, blue eyed character. Uh, and they intentionally race swapped her. They, they got the guy to play that plays Hiccup almost exactly accurate. Wow, it's funny how certain characters get uh, consideration and other ones don't. It's funny how that is. People are kind of sick and tired of all of the race swapping. If you guys want to create your own characters, your own original characters, or you guys want to tell you, if you guys, for whatever reason, are so simple-minded that you can only uh, look at people of a certain ethnicity and only give responsibility, to a certain ethnicity i mean go watch remember the titans and i learn a couple lessons from there because jesus fucking christ i cannot believe i'm having to have this conversation right now but it's like um you might want to open your eyes you might want to step outside of that bubble and it's it's that old saying treat people the way that you want to be treated when you treat certain people like absolute shit they're gonna respond in kind when you tell people that hey your history doesn't matter and you're a racist misogynistic mouth breathing man baby that lives in a basement and gets jizz on your face people aren't gonna react too kindly to that especially when it's like you're very much generalizing and it's like because you know there's people like me that exist John Campia who last time I checked I'm not a misogynistic man baby that lives in my in a basement uh honestly not not to be rude but i saw your video i mean i have a nicer house than you do john campia and i'm mean, j- just saying this if you're worried about getting jizz on your face learn how to swallow it's not that hard trust me if you're really concerned about that uh there there's some videos on porn have you you're probably familiar with it you can go watch it learn a couple tricks here and there but as far as this whole situation goes it's not that hard this is a very simple concept even Forrest Gump can get it when you only give certain privileges to certain people and you treat the other people like shit and then you want to die on the hill of accuracy like they do with certain uh, movies and certain demographics. But when it comes to the other side and you're like, oh, no, then it's fine. And if you say anything, you're a racist. People aren't going to sit back and take that, man. And you having a melty over it, that's not helping the matter. You know, it's just I mean, it's extremely ignorant and. I mean, you're a 51-year-old man. I think when you start calling people mouth breathers and misogynistic man babies and all that, I think you really need to take a good, hard look in the mirror before you start pointing the finger at other people. And you should really look at yourself because all you're doing is projecting. And that's all I have to say about that. I think I said everything I need to say. Guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments. Uh, If you like this video, smash like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you. Whoa, what was that? Ah, I don't know. May the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. I wonder what that was. Bye. Once again, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end and also for supporting me and my channel and my content. And if you guys would like to support me further, my newest cosplay calendar is live right now on indiegogo you guys can go and back it we already have raised over fifty thousand dollars in less than a week of it being launched in the first 30 days so thank you thank you thank you so much to everyone that came out to support this i have been putting so much of my heart and soul into this calendar and doing these cosplays and i'm loving the way each and every one of them has turned out and if you guys want to follow along go 
over and back this campaign or check up on it because I will be posting updates as more and more cosplays get completed. I have done two already. This is, of course, my third cosplay calendar that I've done, and the reception for the first one was great. The reception for the second one was even better, and I hope that this one I can, you know, really blow it out of the ballpark, and hopefully you guys will all like it, which you guys all seem to have so far. So once again, just thank you, everyone. Check on the campaign for updates for, you know, more cosplays as they're going to be coming out. It is linked down below in the description of this video, so you guys can go and check it out. And once again, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.